Hey everyone, at Maxon, we're passionate about developing the tools for artists to create amazing visual effects, motion graphics, and more. We plunge ourselves into the visual and design worlds to understand your needs so we can give you the tools that allow you to be the most creative. We have amazing announcements that we want to share with you, so here is the Maxon team. Hey everyone, it's been a great year for the Cinema 4D community and so awesome to see so many of you back in person. We've been working to make Cinema 4D better and better. And in April, we shipped fantastic new modeling tools and simulation features, plus Redshift CPU and Z Remesher for every Cinema 4D artist. We followed that up in June with updates to the node editor and volume modeling, plus curvature options in MoGraph fields and even more simulation features. It's been so much fun to ship you features as soon as they're ready so that you can take advantage of them right away. And that's one of the great benefits of subscription. But as we've begun delivering a little bit more frequently, our version numbering scheme has shown some issues. So we're moving to a new model year concept that's going to allow us to easily let you know anytime there's new features without inflating the version numbers or forcing you to constantly migrate plugins and press between installations. So with that, I am so thrilled to announce Cinema 4D 2023. This continues our efforts in simulation and modeling, plus some other great workflow improvements. First up is Symmetry. A brand new Symmetry Hub in the top toolbar provides easy access to all of your Symmetry options, and you can easily toggle Symmetry on and off with a shortcut. Just select your Symmetry planes, enable Symmetry, and model. Like magic, everything that you do is mirrored across the object. This works great with the upgraded modeling tools we added in Cinema 4D 26, like Fit Circle and Bridge. If you need to convert the virtual symmetry selection into an actual selection, you can use the Symmetrize Selection command. And if you've modeled on just one side of the model, you can use the Symmetrize command to copy from one side of the model to the other. You can even use symmetry when modifying splines using the Move, Scale, and Rotate tools or spline modeling tools like Chamfer. You can define symmetry planes based on object or world space, a custom axis, or using Cinema 4D's work planes. This makes it easy to define symmetry along any surface. When planar symmetry isn't enough, enable topological symmetry. This mode uses polygon or edge selections to determine the center of symmetry and mirrors your action based on the topology of the model. The Symmetry Hub also provides a central place to manage sculpt symmetry as well. So whether you're modeling or sculpting, you can define your symmetry settings in one place and easily toggle symmetry on and off as you work. Next up is Unified Simulations. You first saw this in April with cloth and rope simulations that combine all of your simulation objects into a single scene that calculates robustly and super fast on the GPU or the CPU. It's been so great to see all of your fantastic cloth and rope simulations as you've been playing over the past few months. And we're excited to continue to extend this system with even more for you to use as you play and create. Now, in addition to cloth and rope, you can simulate soft bodies. Pole constraints are generated within the volume or even outside the volume of your objects in order to add structure. You can adjust how many poles to add and their strength to create incredibly realistic and fun soft body simulations. You can even use fields to define the direction of the poles. There's also some great new options to bring art directability to simulations. We know how much you love the follow position option in our bullet dynamics, and we brought an even more powerful mix animation option to unified simulations. You can mix animation using pins or forces and control which parts of the object are mixed via vertex maps. There's also an option to follow shape, which helps preserve pre-modeled wrinkles or other deformations. We've also added an option to control the target length of cloth and soft body constraints, plus a new stickiness option to make simulated objects cling to each other on contact. You may have noticed I mentioned several aspects of simulation that are controlled with vertex maps. But we know Cinema 4D artists love to keep things procedural. And up to now, vertex maps haven't been an option. But that's history. We've made it possible to define vertex maps and vertex color on procedural objects with the help of fields. So now you can easily define maps for simulation or color volume objects based on the source shape 
or generate any number of effects while keeping everything completely procedural. But we didn't stop there. Polygon selections are incredibly important in Cinema 4D, especially when restricting materials. So we've made it possible to define procedural polygon selections on primitives and generators too. Next, color is so important in a designer's workflow and a key part of all of our applications. We've been working to build a unified color pipeline around OpenColorIO. OCIO is the industry standard for color management and was introduced in Redshift last year and Magic Bullet Looks in April. We're so excited to introduce native OCIO support in Cinema 4D. In the project settings, you can choose to switch from basic color management to OCIO. Choose your desired color spaces and use the utility to convert all of your colors in your scene to the desired render space. OCIO can get pretty complex and studios with established pipelines can even load their own custom configurations. We've tried to make things as easy as possible, providing a default config and presets to set things up for linear sRGB or the film-like color management of ASUS CG. If you use ASUS, you'll get much more pleasing and realistic tone mapping, which you'll see especially when rendering bright lights. It's important to keep in mind though that ASUS might not be the best choice in all cases. It's really difficult, for instance, to preserve brand colors. But we've tried to help along the way with new color management options within the color chooser. You can pick colors and display space, which tries to preserve the final brand color based on your tone mapping. Or use render space or sRGB to pick your colors. You can define the final view transform for all of your colors in Cinema 4D's views, as well as the picture viewer. And yes, that means the picture viewer finally shows the correct colors when rendering OCIO using Redshift. Redshift by default will use all of Cinema 4D's color management settings, but the settings that you used will be preserved anytime you open an older project. Finally, the unified color means that whether you're working in linear or ASUS, your imagery will transfer seamlessly to Magic Bullet looks and your color space options will be preserved. Those of you with a Maxon One subscription have been enjoying ZBrush since April, and we're working to make the connection between ZBrush and Cinema 4D even better. Whether you're wanting to bring your Cinema 4D models into ZBrush to add amazing sculpted detail, or bring your finished sculpts from ZBrush into Cinema 4D for animation or rendering. The GoZ interface to Cinema 4D is now more robust and supports a number of new features like edge creasing. We've improved the options for working with polygroups in Cinema 4D with a new tool to easily select them and options to assign polygroups within Cinema 4D. It's really rewarding to create beautiful redshift renders from your sculpts. And GoZ now creates redshift materials, linking your vertex paint and textures and defining your displacement settings so models are ready to render right away. I started by talking about how excited we are to deliver features to our subscribers more and more frequently. But that effort isn't limited to our product releases. We're also delivering great tools, models, and materials all the time via Cinema 4D's asset browser. These capsules provide a great starting point, brainstorm, or quick fix for your design workflow, and you'll see more and more coming out all the time. To make it easier for you to browse our capsules, we've made key enhancements to the asset browser, improving the performance, filtering and sorting, and making it easier for you to find missing assets via the Project Asset Inspector. But we know that you all have folders and folders worth of assets that you've collected from a career of creativity. And we've heard loud and clear that you want easy access to all of your assets as well. So we've introduced a new option called Watch Folders that lets you choose any folder and index it just like an asset browser library. Metadata and previews are generated on the fly and cached, and you'll see your own assets right beside Maxon's capsules and search results. When you're working on a project, you often have specific assets for the job that need to be accessed all the time. For that, you can define an auto watch, which automatically shows assets in a specific folder relative to the current project. At Maxon, we're always working to give you the power to create. We're always listening and doing our best to incorporate your feedback into the future of the tools. And we're always enthusiastically watching to see all of the amazing designs you create. Cinema 4D 2023 is available right now from Maxon App 
and we can't wait for you to download and start creating. With that, here's Ellie with some of the great new features in Redshift. Now, let's talk about Redshift, our powerful production quality render engine. Here at Maxon, we're continuing our efforts to provide a single render solution inside of Cinema 4D. And early this year, we set out to empower all artists with the ability to create beautiful, photorealistic imagery and harness the power of Redshift from anywhere on any machine. We introduced new possibilities with CPU rendering and have been working hard to improve this functionality with every release, including now bringing across the Great Round Corners feature, which was previously only available for Redshift GPU users. This year's major release of Redshift 3.5 came with the all new standard material, bringing huge improvements when creating materials and better energy conservation. In addition to these enhancements, a more simplified subsurface scattering workflow was introduced, and recently we took this a step further with the incredibly powerful Random Warp mode. Random Warp provides better detail and colors and delivers a more accurate approximation when calculating our subsurface scattering. This is due to it better understanding the size and thickness of our meshes. Meaning, creating materials like skin, wax, and jade is far easier than before. And together with the improved SSS Global Illumination, subsurface has never looked so great. Some of the major developments over the last few months have been to volume technology. The first edition being an all new black body shader, which allows artists to recreate realistic looking fire and smoke VDBs with emission colors based on temperature, much like they are in the real world. Other improvements include the introduction of volumetric anisotropy, meaning we can control how our volumes react to the incoming light direction, adding more realism that will not only help create better composites, but also much more beautiful photorealistic art. This updated anisotropy function is also present in the global fog settings within the Redshift environment, a feature present in almost all industry-leading renderers. But we didn't stop there. With the release of Cinema 40 2023 comes a brand new feature, material stacking. Previously, if you wanted to add labels or decals to your geometry, it could be quite a time-consuming process, involving a mix of material blending and texture remapping. Well, material stacking now makes this process quick and painless. Just set up your base material, create a separate label or decal texture, assign them to the same object, then use Cinema 4D's incredible texture mode to readjust your label. Simple. With Redshift at the heart of Maxon's rendering efforts, almost anything is possible, and we're excited for what's to come next. Maxon empowers artists to create anywhere they feel inspired, and Forger has always offered an intimate and immersive 3D sculpting experience for iPad. Today, we are pleased to announce that we have brought a new dimension to Forger. Forger now includes Cinema 4D's powerful polygonal modeling engine. For the first time ever, creators on iPad will have a full suite of professional grade hard surface modeling capabilities. Artists can kick off their creative process by selecting from a library of polygonal primitive capsules, a cube, sphere, cone, torus, cylinder, and more. Then they can work with a comprehensive tool set for hard surface modeling, including transform, extrude, bevel, inset, bridge, line and loop cut, and more. All of Forger's polygonal modeling tools have been tailored for iPad, multi-touch, and Apple Pencil, making the creative process easy and intuitive. Just drag to select faces. But there's more. Forger still offers its full spectrum of amazing sculpting capabilities. With a simple menu selection, any model can be converted to a sculpture mesh. Forger gives artists the precision and control of modeling and the organic and expressive creativity of 3D sculpting all in one app. Finally, Forger is included as part of Maxon One, so artists can easily exchange their creations to and from Cinema 4D. Forger puts the future of 3D creation literally into the palms of your hands. Get started today for free from the App Store for iPad. As Rick mentioned, we're constantly adding content of all kinds to the asset browser. So you can get inspired and get creating right away. In that same spirit, we're adding to the extensive library of custom particles in trap code particular, introducing two brand new categories with a total of 75 new sprites. 
All seamlessly looping animations, the 2D shapes animated are ideal for creating abstract backgrounds or FUI screen fillers, while the bursts make great instant fireworks or cartoony explosions. Also in particular, we've dramatically reduced the time it takes to launch the designer, making it easier for you to jump in and get to work. With improved support for Alpha Channels and Avid Media Composer, the full host of universe capabilities is now available, unlocking the power of text effects, track mats, and more. With over 100 new presets for the generators category in universe, we've not only expanded on the selection of beautiful background imagery available, but we've aimed to highlight further capabilities of these tools you may not have realized were possible, such as overlays, light leaks, lower thirds, and text strips. Lots of fun stuff to play with here. Let's turn it over to Paul for more. On top of those great upgrades to our desktop applications, we also just released a new version of Moves. Moves by Maxon for the iPad and iPhone allows you to capture facial and full body motion, as well as scan objects and bring them into Cinema 4D. Moves 2.0 includes better connectivity to Cinema 4D, the ability to review scans in 2D and 3D mode, as well as some amazing improvements to UI and workflow. Oh, if you weren't really paying attention, and or didn't hear the noise coming from the internet, yes, we are working towards standardizing all of our products on an annual versioning system, aka Cinema 4D 2023. Except for Redshift, of course, because of their rapid and agile deployment of uh, new features. As always, I encourage you to visit the events page on our website. We have some incredible webinars happening every week, and industry events are returning with a vengeance. It was great to see some of you at NAB and SIGGRAPH, and tomorrow we kick off IBC in Amsterdam. Later this month, we'll be sponsoring the Motion Design Plus event, and in October, you can see us at Broadcast India, Lightbox in Pasadena, Adobe Max in LA, as well as NAB New York. And I'm super excited to announce that ZBrush Summit will be returning November 13th through the 16th. The ZBrush team is putting together an incredible virtual experience with some great artists from major studios. Hope to see you there. As you can see, we're not slowing down. We're on a mission to make the best creative tools to make your vision and the unrealistic seem completely realistic.